Pour one cup of milk into four eggs, then get some vanilla extract and, and add a splash just like that. One cup, one fourth cup of sugar. And today I'm gonna show you a cool recipe I learned. So a tablespoon of cinnamon, just like that, and beat it up. And we're gonna pour that over four large croissants. You can get the croissants from anywhere. We're gonna mix this up. This is basically a French toast casserole. Ooh. And super easy. So we're just gonna beat this up. Look at the flavors start to get really nice and incorporated together. Look at it go, look at it go. Keep on beating it up, keep on beating it up. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Make sure that's fully incorporated. Keep on fighting it. It should look like this, okay? So every four eggs, you add a cup of milk, okay? You can use whole, you can use evaporated milk. Whole milk is just so much better in my opinion. So we're just gonna keep it going, keep it going. We're gonna keep it mixing, keep it beating. Keep the beat going. Hey, don't, don't give up on me. Don't give up on me. My hand hurts. You can do it. Okay. Boom. Now pour this guy all over. Oh, good Lord have mercy. Look at it go. Look at it go. Make sure you beat it up really nice. Perfect. Now, all you have to do, start pressing it down Ooh. into that casserole dish. All right, so just drown in the egg then. Just drown it in the egg custard. You basically made a custard, okay? Boom, boom, boom. Look at it go. Wow. Squish it in there. Squish it in there. It doesn't want to get in there? Make it get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want, you want to hear that sound. Boom, boom, boom. That's good custard. Look at that go. Bada bing, bada boom. You see that? That's the worldwide, wow, baby. I do. Press it down, press it down. Look at all that layers. That's how it's supposed to pack it like that. Perfect. Now, what you can do to make it even taste a little bit better. Take the cinnamon. Let's get some butter. Put out the dough. Get some butter. You kill the wrapper too. Three. Last one. Ooh. Little baby knob. And we're gonna throw this in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. This guy is done. Whoa. Look at him. This is our croissant French toast casserole. Ooh, I like that. Basically, kind of like, if you think about it, it's like kind of like pudding or bread pudding. But it's a casserole. Oh, oh. Look at that. O M. Boom. Flip and G. Look at that. Look how nice and eggy he is and flaky. Oh. No stick. Make sure you spray a lot of oil. Okay. How do we serve this? How do we serve it? Like a loaf of bread. Oh, slice right. of bread. Like slice of bread. But first. Yes, I do like to season. I like to slice it first. So we're gonna slice this guy first. Serrated blade. Yeah, as always. You wanna cut thick chunks, okay? You don't want to be stingy. You see that it's crispy and moist in the middle. Yep, it's crispy and spongy, like how every single good French toast should be. Mm -hmm. Ready? Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Perfect amount. Look how spongy that is. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. So you just like stack it like this, and this is how I like to do it. Boom. Now, what do you do to top it off? Some simple things. So, uh, of course, powdered sugar, but I always love to do a caramel drizzle. Uh, drizzle. Oh, heck yes. You can use syrup if you like syrup. I just think caramel is a, just better. Oh, yeah. Don't be shy with it. Just keep on going with it. Yeah. There you go. 
think I threw this on there. Look at that go. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, lastly, what I like to do also is hit it with some powdered sugar. Powdered sugar, but look at this though. And if you guys wanted to make it a little bit more interesting, you can add some raisins and walnuts into it. Whoa. I just wanted to make a very simple version for everybody. Powdered sugar, just for touch and special fact. Never go wrong with powdered sugar. Never. Never, ever. It's just basically air, if you think about it. Basically, just sweetened air. Just air. Okay, a little bit of cinnamon. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. It's January. So. Wow. <gasps> That's moist. Look how moist it is. That is moist. We let it set for like 10 minutes or 20 minutes outside the oven so it's nice and bouncy, but let's give it a try. This is so much better than regular French toast because your croissant is flaky. Ooh. By the way, mm, this is a 10 out of 10. Forget brioche bread, use croissant. And you can get them for cheap in Costco. Mm. 